Hello, hello. Good evening, good time zone. Welcome in. Uh, let's see here. Okay, captions are working. That's good. And quality options are working. That is also good. Okay. So that's all taken care of and established. Let's um, let's get right in here. We're doing more Celeste tonight, as you can see. Uh, trying to find more collectibles, mostly strawberries, uh, crystal hearts if we can manage. Uh, those ones are a little trickier. I had to look up the second one, but we'll see if we can find any more on our own. And that's that's what we're doing. We left off midway through getting all the strawberries in uh, chapter three. So we're going to resume there, right? Because we got, yes, we got all the ones in the first section. We're missing two in this second section. We're missing all the ones in this third section and two in this last section. We also have, we've gotten the B side in this level. Luckily, we have no idea where the crystal heart's going to be. So let's, let's look around in here for some strawberries. A huge mess. Uh, we don't need to see the cutscenes. So I think... Is there a way to get down below that at some point? We gotta keep an eye out for any secrets we can find. Oh yes, this is where we take away all this stuff. Oh, so after we clear all these, maybe we could... Or clear one of these, maybe we could go back through that door we just came through and... Okay, so we gotta go talk to him, if I recall this section correctly. That's not the right way. Oh, we should check out like all these walls if we can, though. Let's see if there's anything... around in here that's a secret. So there's a way to come back up through down there. Where's this go? I think I've been down in there, that's okay. Multiple routes we can take here. Blocked off route. Oh no, this is not blocked off anymore. Interesting. So this route wasn't blocked off to begin with. Uh, oh yeah, this was just like some... That looks like a secret up there. Pico 8, Celeste. Did I find a minigame? It's exciting. It's just Celeste, but it's. I'm playing Celeste in Celeste. That's hilarious. lives or anything? Not that I see. Oh. We're being timed.
don't think these count as strawberries. Reset Pico 8, exit Pico 8. Oh, not quite dashing on the right angle there. There we go. Oh, this isn't a route, okay. Uh, okay, we got a strawberry there. Oh, this is a, this is a level we've already done. Some of these are like directly levels that we've already played in the regular game. Oh, fucked up. Okay, wait, let's let this reset. This is actually kind of tricky. The controls are a little more limited than. Ah, uh, shoot. Is that, now, is that taking away from our score when we die? Is our limit a certain number of deaths based on score? There we go. Oops. Okay, now it seems to be... Buy ourselves some time here. Let everything reset. <laughs> okay, there we go. Uh, there's a key and a chest. Okay, so we can't actually wall climb in this, though, is the difference. Let me do this. Get the strawberry. Stay a while and listen. There we go. What? Picto? Hello, love. Thanks so much for bringing everybody over. Bone love? Lots of bone loves. He's bringing the love. Oh, there's a different one. Nice. Welcome in, everybody. Good to see you all. How did um how did Hoko finish up? I was there until just a little while ago, of course, but how did it uh how did it finish up? Shoddy? Thank you so much. I feel like my chat is like nice not... Oh, there we go. Oh, it works. Wait. Hey, why does it work when you do it, and not when I do it? Why can't I shadow people in my own? Whatever. That's fine. <laughs> what is the secret of the green thumb? So now we're getting a bunch of follows. Probably Louise, thank you so much. I appreciate that. And Shadi, again, thank you so much for resubscribing. Six months, wow. Welcome back to Name Pending. That's fantastic. Twitch told you to use this. You choose jump. I will try to jump as much as possible. Picto 8, that's exactly what we're playing. It's Picto 8. What does this balloon do? Oh, that gives me back my, my jump. I understand. Yeah, so we're just playing a mini game right now. What we were doing beforehand was um, collecting strawberries that we don't have in Celeste yet. Uh, for anyone not familiar with Celeste, it's a uh, it's an awesome platformer. And we're just going around getting some collectibles right now. But thank you so much for coming over, everybody. Who else? Now that my chat's loading better, who else we got here? Louise, Sammy, Asher, Mango, D. Good to see you all. Thanks so much for coming over. Uh, do I have to just hop? Yeah, okay, just hop on these. 
Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I fucked up. Okay, so I have to... I do have to dash to get to these ones. Nope. That's not gonna work. Picture stream such a wholesome game and the whole time you were binge-watching Attack on Titan? Oh, okay. I mean, that... Those go together. Got a nice little bit of a dissonance there. The, the people being devoured just makes the wholesomeness more wholesome. There we go. Uh, gotta go finish your dinner and stuff. We'll be back soon. Love you so much. I love you so much. Enjoy your dinner. Uh, what are you having? Well, actually, you can go get your dinner and then when you come back, tell us what you're having. You did master that fishing mechanic. You were crushing that. And that looked particularly... Oh, okay, that only... Oh, no, we need to use that balloon when we get up there. I understand. There we go. Just leftovers? That sounds good, though. Oh yeah, so that we don't we can't get that far. So we need to use the spring to get over to the other balloon. Oh. There we go. Oh, we missed. Oh, we gotta maybe dash up and then wall jump. Kind of like that, but then not mess up at the end. Oh, I kept hitting dash instead of jump. We're getting close. Oh, there's a secret up in that corner. I guess I'm glad we got that before we managed to beat it. so cute it's fantastic i love that they when i first booted up this computer i was like oh sweet is there a mini game and then it turned out to just be celeste but 8-bit style and i was like well actually less than 8-bit style but yeah this is adorable oh no see i gotta my directional dashes there we go Whew. How far does this go, though? And what do I get at the end of it? Jump to here, disappears, jump to here. Oh, no, I slipped. <laughs> that was just, like, panic mode. I was... Okay, then we get on top. Then what do we do? Jump. Dash in. I guess that works. Oh, this room starts. You want to block that disappears? That's rough. Okay, we do this. Okay, that's kind of what we need to do, but... Dash. Land on this, okay. Oh, no! I should have stopped there for a second, but I got... started to panic. Okay. Dash in here. Land on this. Okay. Wait. What's the point of that? Balloon. I was treating that balloon like it was a strawberry. Do I even need that balloon? I guess I do. Oops. 
scooted right off the end there. That's okay. Okay. Do we jump? Do we dash? Oh, yeah. So we just we dash through the balloon. Which then gives us our dash back. And then... Then we yeah, get in there and wall jump around. Dope. Shoot. How do I... Oh, so <laughs> they even redid the memorial at the end of the first chapter. How do I get through... These, though? And get down to that strawberry. This stuff's frozen. Well, I can't go back. Um... Nope, it's not gonna do it. I do it either. Okay, wait. Oh, that's almost what I gotta do. There we go. Well, so then we jump up, dash. No. Oh, so close. Needed to wall jump again. like that. What the? Wait, that? This is... So I gotta... I gotta walk off... Then wall jump, wall jump, get on the spring. And then... Land on the wall, so it disappears, wall jump back over, then wall jump back and dash up in the... Oh my... I needed to save my... This is harder than a lot of the actual game. I do that? Oh my god, I can just... I just do like a little... hop at the last second I can get out here without doing the wall jumps. Ah, so I gotta, I gotta touch those, but then get off, jump off them at the last second. This, this first part's so finicky. Okay. Ah. Oh. Stay a while and listen. Hey, Za. Welcome in, everybody. Thank you so much for that raid. Can I do my own shoutout this time, or is it still not going to work for me, just like last time? Oh, I don't get the opportunity to try it. That's okay. Thank you, love. I appreciate that. Pizza delivery. Welcome in, everyone. Thank you for coming over. Zah. Yinzertot. Mask. Good to see you. Odrots. Ash. Thank you so much for coming over, everyone. Welcome in. It's good to see all of you. Last plan. Oh, yes. How's the uh, Heart Gold Soul Silver run going? I hope it has been well. Uh, we're playing some Celeste. 
as you can see. Well, actually, right now we're playing the, uh, the Pico 8 minigame inside Celeste, which is just Celeste, but it's older. <laughs> it's pretty It's pretty great. Like 10 levels under leveled and at the Elite 4, it's been fun. Oh, nice. Wow. And I don't... That was a Nuzlocke, right? Are you gonna are you gonna be all right being that low level? Are you gonna lose all your Pokemon? I'm sure you know what you're doing. You've okay. Come on now. There we go. Oh god damn it! We drifted back a little far. Ah, uh, the amount of deaths we are racking up in here is. Do I want to just go back to my old strategy of fall, wall bounce, and then get over here? I guess that works just as good as anything else. Okay, so. Jump, that. Nope. Didn't do it quite right. Initially going to treat it like a Nuzlocke, but you kind of scrapped that because you didn't like grinding. Or don't like grinding. Sure, that's fair. Celeste still treat me well? Yeah, I'm enjoying it. Um, we, uh, we're just we're just trying to get collectibles and stuff now. Uh, or is that's what I was doing that I found this secret room. I don't know if I get anything for, for playing this minigame or not. Uh, I'm trying it out for now. Yeah, we've been working our way through. Last night we left off, we got... Oh, I can't even see my strawberry progress when I'm in this minigame. Um... But yeah, no, it's good. I'm, I'm having, I'm having a good time with it still. Although this, this little section here is pretty rough. What? I was on those. Why didn't they disappear? Did I not touch them for long enough? Oh, and then I missed. Okay, it's all right. For some reason, I can't seem to... I'm seeming like I'm struggling to dash at an angle again. Sorry you're finishing up eating. Oh, no worries, love. I hope your fruit was good. Ooh, I wonder if that's easier. To just step off and then wall jump off that one instead of trying to wall jump back. That felt easier. Okay, there we go. Oh, they come back so quick. Son of a bitch. But I can't get to them with my dash, and I can't get... Do I even need to get rid of those? What if I just... Wait, can I just... Hmm... Oops. Okay, it's... Maybe it's not easier unless I do it right. Okay, so I just didn't need to use my dash to get over there. That's probably why I was messing that up so much. Uh. Oh, but we don't get over to that other strawberry unless we... Okay. Ooh, how do we... Okay, you're right, so we gotta dash up, get the and then dash back onto the platform. Okay, I understand. Well not quite. <laughs> Oops. I'm glad the uh like regular Celeste game didn't have any rooms that started you on a falling platform, because that's I'll be honest, that's a little cheap. Oh, so close. And then I panicked because we... Nope, it's not going to do it. Grab the thing. Oh, we didn't get the key that time. Get 
key. And then we gotta... Hmm. <laughs> Oh, that disappears too? Wow, so this room just leaves you nowhere to, to stop and chill until you get up to the chest. Just a straight sequence of stuff that you need to nail. Oh, I should use my dash there. I had it. Hey, Banjo, welcome in. Had some crab rangoon. Ooh. Oh, see, and again, I forgot that that was going to disappear did at that time, then we just made the wrong... Oh, and then we got to dash, like, directly over. Okay. Okay, we got through that room. That was a little rough, but we made it. Sounds so tasty? Yeah, it does. And so begins an adventure in learning how to darn correctly. Oh, good luck, McD. Expanding your repertoire? That's awesome. Um, what am I trying to do in this room? Why is, why is my hair doing this? to whatever it's not a problem um spring over the wall dash to that wall wall jump to the balloon and then now we're to wall jump twice dash up wall jump wall jump wall jump a third time get the balloon after we get the balloon we're gonna be over there there's only spikes over there. We can't dash all the way back to the spring, can we? I'll try it and see what it looks like when we get up there. Uh, well, now you're hungry, so you're going to lurk a bit and get some Namis. Okay, Ash, sounds good. I hope you get some excellent Namis. Okay, so kind of like that, but without fucking everything up. Oh, that, okay, that's sort of worked if I'd realized what I was doing. Oh, that was too much. Hmm. Okay. Nope, that's not going to cut it. Oh, why did we go that way? Oh, that disappears too. Right, so everything in this place just disappears. There's no time to... It's not going to do it. Close. Oops. Take a second here. I think what I need to do is leave one of these there, so then I can... Oh, and I fucked it up. Oh, but I landed alive over here. Okay, so that's what I gotta do, and then I just gotta not miss that dash so that I get up into the, the shaft there and I can climb up in. Oh, no. 
was a little too high that time. Nope, there I got rid of both of them. I need to leave one so I have it to jump off of again. Oh! I guess I didn't need to leave one. Dope, we got that. Time to climb in the shaft? You know it. What the heck is this? Did I just dash through that? This is... I don't know about this one. Yeah, that just propels me into those. Do I have to avoid those? I don't know if it's possible to bounce off that spring at enough of an angle that I don't go up into those spikes. Am I supposed to... Is this a trick? Do I, am I supposed to go up this way? No. I don't think there's any way to get up around there. Yeah, see, I... Wait, where would... Where am I trying to get to? Where's the end of this level? I don't think we can go straight up at the top there. Ah, uh, maybe if we wall jump... No, because you can't... Catch, jump. That springs us right in. There's no way to touch that spring without. How did I get this mini game? I uh, I found it down a secret passage that I didn't catch the first time in the hotel area. Um, I'll point it out once I exit out. We'll have to walk back how I got in here, but I I found a secret passage that led to it. What's our score currently? Yeah, see, if we touch that, we're fucked. It's in the hotel level kind of hidden. Yes. Yes, it is. And if we touch that other one, we're going to be kind of fucked. So how do I... Can I like I dash can I like dash immediately? I can. Oh my god, so I gotta I gotta hit the spring, dash immediately, hit the next spring, and dash back the other way. Oh my god, okay. Not not that, not that quick. Not that quick either. But from what I hear, this is an early prototype of what Celeste was going to be. Oh, interesting. Interesting. That's really cool that they threw it in as like a an extra. Okay, so dash. Nope, it's too fast. Dash, dash. Okay. <gasps> and so what was I going to try to do then? Jump, jump. Kind of like that, but jump, jump. Okay, we made it. Whew. Uh, so we got a cloud and then a bunch of dashing in the air. That's fine. 
the clouds just rotate out through that way. So to land in the cloud, go under dash, 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 dash out. Okay. Still a bunch of dashing. This shouldn't be as bad as the previous room. Um, wasn't bad for a first attempt. Too early. In fact, Darning isn't as scary as you thought. Oh, nice. That's awesome, McD. I'm glad it's going well. I can't just, like, cheese this and go straight up there, can I? No. Okay, cloud. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Um, hello? So we got a wall jump, wall jump, wall jump, wall jump over, land, slide down, get the key, dash over, wall jump, wall jump, wall jump, wall jump, wall jump. Okay. Oh, shoot. I tried to wall jump at the last second after I touched the key, but it... Oh, too late. Or too early, rather. Oh, shoot. That was it, but I panicked. There we go. Oh my god, are you kidding me? What the heck is this? I gotta wait... Not that long. How does this even... Pause this for a second. Dash through that, dash through that, drift, and dash up into those balloons? That's tough. Okay. To not catch the ledges. Oh, so close. Oh, I almost had it there. Sock done? Nice. Fantastic. There we go. Ooh. That thing was dragging me into... So I have to go under and just dash my way around up to that spring. How many levels of this are there? This is getting... It's fun for a minigame, but like it's it's getting a little excessive. Fucked it up. Not quite. Nope. Now, let's see if you, if you get slightly off angle at all it gets kind of ruined like that Ooh. Too high there, and I was getting above them. Let's 
Oh, that was close. the end? What do I get for all this? Oh, I get an extra dash? Oh my god, so these puzzles are probably going to get nutty. matters. Am I gonna... And what do I do from in here? Dash. No, that's not gonna cut it. I need to somehow get to that wall while still having a dash left so I can jump off of it and then immediately dash up and land on that spot over to the side, right? I think. There's no way though, I don't think I can just wall jump off of this and dash up to that. That's not, it's too far. I think. Right, then I can do that, but that doesn't get me anywhere. If I use both dashes to get up there, it's it's not gonna work. I wish you could actually climb in this, but Or do I do I jump, wall jump, dash back to the wall? wall jump and then dash kind of diagonally through the gap, something like that. So like... Kind of like that, yeah. Throw the fucking up. There we go. Um... This is gonna be similar. Jump out, dash up, wall jump, dash up wall jump over to this where I can safely sit and then yeah okay something kind of like this get up in here okay strawberry. And then we got a... Okay, that's one use. So dash, dash, bounce, dash, dash? What? Yeah, dash, dash, and up. had it there. I could have stopped on that spring for a breather. What am I going to do with that other spring? That'll propel me to the spikes when I careful. I think I'll have to touch that spring in the top there, then as it sends me up, dash out, and then dash back in. Oh, I could have grabbed the wall there. Uh, 
I wish the whole screen didn't shake when I dashed. Kind of... Okay. So now we have to... Nope, not quick enough. As soon as that propels us, we gotta dash out again. No, it's not gonna do it. Okay. It's gonna come back in a sec. Okay. Ah, not quick enough. Let's take a second. Stretch. Calm things down. <sighs> Doing so good. I've got this. I've got this. It doesn't look easy at all. No, thank you. I appreciate the support. It's definitely tricky. Um, smaller screen. That's that's a definite factor too. Small screen, I mentioned it already, but the little shake it does when I dash, that's really... I don't know. It bothers me. Oops. Okay, maybe this far again. Drift through there. Sorry for being so lucky, but also have to head out now. It's family dinner day. Thanks for streaming, and hope you continue to enjoy Celeste. Oh, no worries. Uh, that's okay. I hope you enjoy uh, your family dinner. Thank you so much again for that raid. I really appreciate that. Bringing everyone over, trusting your community with me. And yeah, have a great dinner. Have a great sleep when you uh, call tonight. It's good to see you. Oops. I think I will definitely continue to enjoy Celeste. I, I like it quite a lot. Oh, that was close. Not fast enough. One of my biggest problems in these types of platform games is, like, when I get a little further than I'm used to getting, I, like, my brain, like, pauses for a second to congratulate myself, and then I don't do what I need to do next, and I immediately get thrown into the spikes or whatever. <laughs> I, need to, I need to hold off feeling happy with my progress until I actually get the whole way. can drift through those spikes, just go inside as though dashing, because I've done it once, but I feel like it's a pretty tight window. Like that. Nope. Hmm. I think now I'm trying to double tap dash so fast that I miss it completely. Okay. Got through that room. Uh...
Nice, thank you. I appreciate those hypes. Uh, so this room... Let's try... Something like that now. Jump. Wow. How the heck? How am I gonna... Okay, let's just try and... Okay, so we can get to that. But from there, what would I... Can I just barely hit the key and then dash up and... Like, slightly up and get that wall? And then wall jump over to the spot where I can stand safely? That seems... Seems tricky. Kinda like that, but... No. Just dashing all over the place. Because I'm panicking. So if you're just falling straight down, you can't quite get that key. Is it possible for me to barely, like, wall jump, diagonal dash, land on that inward wall, wall jump out, dash up, and wall jump out? Not like that. Okay, but if I'm, if I'm propelling myself into those spikes, if I let myself fall lower, I should be able to propel myself far enough to go through the key and land on that wall. So I think it's a matter of... See. It's the bottom of the screen kills me so fast. I, I wish I had more room at the bottom of this level. Which sounds like I wish I could let myself fall further. Which is almost never what you want to do, but in this case I think it is. Dash. No. Wall jump. No. No. Wall. Hmm. Kind of like that, but then I didn't get the key. Okay, like that, but then I have to slide down further and just barely wall jump out to miss those spikes. These rooms are really hard. No, too early. Okay, kind of like that, but I gotta get the key too. I 
point is this minigame... I know I've said this multiple times, but like... Okay, so almost exactly like that. I just need to wait longer before wall jumping back. Not that long, though. Cause... Oh, the timing is so precise. Like, it's... was the closest I've gotten. I need, then I needed to dash straight up. Ah, straight up. Grab the key on the way. I should just be able to jump, dash, and then dash, like dash out and then dash up and land on that. Kind of like that. And then I need to jump, dash into that corner, slide down the wall, wall jump out, and dash up into that gap just perfectly. Seems tricky, but we'll try it. Stretch break, thank you, Stream Elements. I did without grabbing the key that time.
the spikes because I was holding so hard to the right. Making progress though. I'm actually getting a little warm. I have to take off my uh, cardigan here. <laughs> Don't get overheated. I will try not to. at your machinist leveling. <laughs> Don't get overheated. Are you enjoying machin machinist, Sammy? I thought it was quite a lot of fun. through we needed to, to turn back so we could wall jump almost nope. I don't want to go without the key Yes, it's good fun. It's uh, good fun. Still on, uh, still early on, only level forty. I mean, that's that's pretty good progress. though. level forty's getting there. We're doing a lot of fates. Oh, interesting. Yeah. I basically only ever did dailies to level up. Well, and. squadron missions, or, well, command missions, the version where you go along with them to get experience. I did a lot of those to level up, too, actually. Why run things with real people when you can just have a team of AI? And then there's no one to disappoint. directly into the spike. That's the play. Still need to work on Black Mage still at 40. I mean, that's... 40's good. There's nothing wrong with 40. That's halfway there. Clearing that, I wonder if 
jumping slightly out to give myself some room for clearing that is a bit... Uh, I don't know. I did a trial earlier. Someone yelled at you for moving when they were not supposed to. Sometimes you wish it was AI you played with, only optional to play with other people. Oh, sure, yeah. Someone's yelled at for moving when they were not supposed to. I don't... Sorry, I don't care who you are. Your time is not so valuable that having to, like, redo a couple boss fights or whatever is that big a deal. I mean, I, I get some people only have a very limited amount of time to run stuff during the day. But, like, I don't know. Not everyone knows you can form miles without being asked. Absolutely, yeah. There's new players coming into Final Fantasy XIV all the time. I got through that gap up there once, and I wish I could remember exactly what I did to do it. Because every time I've made it up in there since, I've... See, that was like a dash straight up, and then try, I tried to drift over. I need to like dash on an angle slightly, but it's hard to do that without uh, hitting the spikes. Oh. be harsh people really out here acting like they are on an esports competitive team with 50k on the line. That's why you love the trust to be honest, yeah. They're like who the hell moved you were really not supposed to move for fuck's sake. Mm. Was it? Kinda. Oops, not quite. Ah, come on. Wish they existed for trials, but you get what they don't. Yeah. Well, even just, like, one of the great things with the trust is, like, they teach you the mechanics for the dungeon, sort of. Like, if you watch what your NPCs do, they know how to dodge most of the moves. So it's, like, if there's something you don't get, you just watch where they go, and then the next time around, you know where you're going.
Oh, shoot. Whatever. Okay. Nope. Fucked it up. Lucky you didn't wipe, so did not have to spend too much time with him. Oh, sure, yeah. was going to work that time. I thought I jumped too soon, so I wasn't prepared to dash. Oh! Once I get up into that corner, I need to, like, pause for a second, because I, it's, like, I can't move back to the left at all or catch those spikes on the way down, so I need to chill, drop, and then jump out and do my thing. the end of this, wherever it ends, if it'll tell me how many deaths I had. Like it does with the rest of the game. Nope. Your mother was, has been binging Dawson's Creek, so you have to hear the theme song multiple times a day. I used to know what the Dawson's Creek theme song was. Can I think of it off the top of my head? I feel like I can picture scenes from it. It was shot in like a very like, for the time, like a very like kind of artsy style, wasn't it? That's it. I don't want to wait for our lives to be over. Da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. Something, something else. Do -do -do, do -do -do -do. <laughs> wait, that's the theme to Dawson's Creek? I, it was when the show first started airing. I remember I, I was a little young for, like, teen like, dramas when it first started airing, I think, but my sister watched the original few seasons of Dawson's Creek, if I recall. Now that I say that, I should probably actually look up. When did it start airing? Dawson's Creek. Uh, original release, 1998. Yeah. So I... Yeah. I was a little young to be interested in that kind of thing, but my sister was definitely watching it at that time. Don't have the rights. Netflix has a different song. Oh, I wonder maybe if they couldn't get the rights for the original song, Netflix. Or did they just change it in the later seasons? I'm mad that they changed the theme song because that song was much better than the one they changed it to. Hmm. I don't think I've heard the new one. See, I get up there and then I start coming back left. I need to, need to not do that until I've dropped low enough that I can get on this wall. And then I need to wall jump out and dash up. This first section is definitely the hardest part of this room. Which is annoying. Because like you, you manage to do it and then there's like some slight leap hard sections afterwards. Well, more than slightly. Like, this this bottom part's really hard, and then I would say this part's not too bad. 
then like this. Okay. Oh, fuck. Okay. We got it. Uh, you're partial to run like mad, but you also have to frown to like it since you hear it every day. Oh, groan to like it since you hear it every day. Is run so is, is run like mad the name of the new one? What the heck is this? Shenanigans. Okay, so we gotta jump out, dash to get the balloon, dash up, drift down, clutch the wall. Wall jump out, dash back to the wall, wall jump out, dash back, wall. Oh my god, game. Are you. Give me right now. They're letting you play as Alpha. Oh, yes, there is a section like that, Mango. Okay, so I actually know almost exactly where you are now. That's exciting. I uh, watched a lot of it like two years ago. Need to get back into it because I love all the film references. Oh, sure. So much trouble now. Okay. Now we're way up here. Shenanigans. Yeah. Yeah, as I mentioned, when it first aired, I was a little young, but I. The, the, the teen drama that I got pretty big into for a little while was uh, One Tree Hill. Star, when did you start airing? 2003 and ran until 2012, yeah. Da, da, da. Bought some local pepper jar from the store, it's delicious. Ooh, that sounds good. So I gotta slide down, I can probably wall jump over, dash, jump, dash into the balloon. Okay, game, I see you. Oh my god, that's... That stuff, but... How am I supposed to get anywhere with two dashes from there? What? And especially up into that key? Are you kidding me? Okay, so Wondry Hill, that was your jam. Uh, nice, yeah. It was pretty good. Uh, it's not a new song. In fact, I think it was written for the show, but they ended up going with I Don't Want to Wait. Oh, so did they just, like, switch the theme song to being a different song on the soundtrack? That's an interesting decision. Dun, dun, dun. Oops. Yeah, what? I seriously have to get... There's no way I can get up to that key with... I don't understand this level at all. This doesn't even seem possible. Maybe if my timing's great, I could get up... High enough that I could drift over land on that block, and then after 
jump off of that and dash us up, I could get to the top. But how do I get to that key at any point? too far after grabbing the balloon. Okay, we got through that level. We didn't get the key or the strawberry, but we, prog we progressed. What is this shenanigans? Jeez, Pico 8 is intense. Uh, so I gotta go down, I gotta get off the, hit the bounce thing, and then, okay, I can just get the strawberry like that, that's easy enough. Connecting to chat, that's not good. Did I miss chat messages? Uh... Sorry for the late input. Oh, no, no worries. Uh, pepper jelly, yes, delicious. Sometimes you watch it with your mom and you're like, why is this also the plot of a Riverdale episode, basically? <laughs> Well, I mean, because those are the original, or, well, the original Riverdale is obviously the Archie comics, but those are like the original sort of shows of the Riverdale, like they pioneered the genre that Riverdale now situates itself in. But the aesthetic of this level, it's pretty gorgeous. Got this? Thank you. I appreciate that. Gonna be quite on and off running MSQ. Got pray, so hopefully it won't be a healer aggro fest. Okay, love. Good luck. I hope it goes well. So we gotta bounce off this thing. Do I? No shows walk so Riverdale could run. <laughs> I don't know if I need to get that balloon above. I feel like I can like bounce, get through that little section. And then just get those and maybe. I don't know, this is See that? No, I think I mm. No, maybe I do have to. So we gotta like bounce. And then cut back to get that balloon, drift down. Oh my god. Pico 8, why are you so... Kinda like that, but I need to not hit the spikes. At any point. Ooh, kinda worked. Which many dashes there? Gotta pause this because I don't want to just keep dying while I think about this level. Um, so we we got up in there. There we dash dash. How 
How do I get that key? Wow. The balloons respawn. Is, th is the trick for this one maybe to like get up into that corner and then just kind of like wall jump back and forth until the balloon respawns and I can get back out again? good enough dash control to oh okay so maybe f get the key fall back down grab that balloon and then head back up in kind of thing oh I skipped the balloon See, that was so close, I just needed to then fall down in that balloon and we would have been good. So after we collect that blue, we need to dash over and then dash up, like, immediately. No, not like that. No, see, I gotta dash straight across. Lost it. Oh, I've too far. to that same spot and then I just dash diagonal instead of straight to the side. Closer. Shoot. 
<laughs> the balloons kind of creep you out. Thanks, it. <laughs> what do you mean, Sammy? They don't make you want to come play? something the clown says, right? It's been a long time since I've seen the original it. I never saw the new one. You've only seen the new ones? Oh yeah, there's more than one, isn't there? That's right. Stretching on my wrists here a little bit. Okay. We've gotten close here. Ah, shoot. You think he does in the new ones, but is definitely said in The Shining? Oh, yes, yes. The, of course, the little girls do say it. Oh, so close. my wall jump. Oops. Oh no. Oh. Put my tea aside since that's gone and grab my water bottle. We're gonna get through this. We're getting close. So close. Watching The Shining as a kid and being a little bored might have just been too long a movie. Sure, sure. I, I, I think, I think a lot of the creepiness in The Shining is. I don't even know how to describe it. 
it's not necessarily stuff that kids would even pick up on, so a lot of the scenes that are tense would just be, like, boring, probably, for a child. Ah. Uh. And it is a long film, for sure. So that's also a factor. So that's what I gotta do. Drop into the balloon, and as soon as I do, diagonal dash that way, and then diagonal dash back. Oh, I started... prepared. Oh! That would have been it if I had cut back. I, I dashed diagonal the right way the first time, and then I went straight up instead of cutting back fully. But we're getting there. We're making progress. Remember feeling the same way Then you saw it you were older, and then it got real creepy? Sure, yeah. Getting some knowledge on Kubrick. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. Getting knowledge on Kubrick made it even more creepy. That would make sense. Oops. Was... What am I doing? I'm oh, not quite. Got a little antsy there. We did it. <gasps> Summit! Fourteen strawberries, one thirty two oh three, deaths eight hundred and twelve. Is this just a secret or do I get something from it? I was I was low key kinda hoping that this would give me the uh the crystal heart for this level. Do I just exit now? Yes. Now playable from the main menu. Oh, that's cool. So it is just a side thing. What happens if I go back in? Will send me to the start? cartridge yeah okay so it just sends me back to the start okay cool available from the yeah so it's just it's just in this secret room in here so like uh people who were here when i played through this section last time may have like i was i got to this room and i saw this but i didn't notice that uh there's a thing up there to the side Because this is then the section where we have to take the three separate paths to clear out all the mess that's in the hotel. Had to step away for a bit, but now you're back. Welcome back, Banjo. Uh, and I've looked through here for secrets. But... So 
We still haven't encountered any of the strawberries though in this level. There we can see some stuff. Lock, so I can't go back in anyway. Does it look like there's a secret in this room to anyone? Not that I can see. Uh, wanted to play on your PlayStation, but your friend is still sleeping on your couch and she's currently sleeping, so you don't want to disturb her. Oh, sure. Yeah, that makes sense. I'll tell her you've got some gaming to do. Wish you had to play to the second bedroom. Mm -hmm. It's always nice to have a place for friends to crash. How did I drop down there so easily last time? Gosh, now, <laughs> playing with these different mechanics now, well, I mean, the mechanics are the same, but. Nope, it's not gonna cut it. Jeez. Never mind looking for secrets, I can't even get through the levels anymore. Um, okay, now we're over here. Okay, but there's a path down there. Okay, there's a strawberry in here we've gotten. Do I spend the time to go get it just to figure out where we're at in terms of strawberries? I sure don't mind that she's here, however, you're a night owl and she had to wake up super early for work so she's usually asleep when you're at your most act. Oh yeah, so it doesn't line up well. Mm, that's always unfortunate. Kind of just trying to find secrets. Okay, we can stand on this, which is dope. That doesn't count for... Oh! Land on that edge there. Okay. Oh, I walked a little too far. So we gotta make sure we barely touch this. And then we can go do that. Oh! Oh, wait. This is safe. Oh, but now I can't. Oh, that's awkward. Oh! Can't land in there. it off anyway. Never mind. So, jump, dash. Okay. Made 
most of that not good, which is troublesome. We can do this. We can dash through. Oh, not quite. Oh, I should have, when I was on that wall, just climbed up to get my stuff back and then... Yeah. putting in just to like, get an indicator of how of where I'm at in the level, I must say. Okay. So that's that one. But this level's all a bunch of different paths that split off from each other anyway. So... Was that one of the ones I was missing? I think I was only missing two from this level. Wait, no, obviously it wasn't one, one the, wasn't one of the ones I was missing, it was blue. I know how this game works, don't worry about it. Does anything in here look like a secret? It seemed like it. Does anything in here look like a secret? I wonder if that top corner is a secret if the brown boxes are removed. Does the order you come through these passages matter? Strawberry over here. Am I gonna go go for this one? It's probably gonna be that other one that we already have, right? Actually, that's that'd be good to know though. Grab this one, and then we'll know whether there's one between. Well, actually, it has to be because. Yeah. So actually, we can. Well, no, let's do it. Let's grab it just for the fuck of it. That's the one I thought it was. Okay. So technically, I guess the game's assuming this would be the last path we take. Alright, that gives, gets rid of all those. Alright. Because there's three... So how this level works is there's... Three separate paths you can do in any order, and each one removes some of the mess that's cluttered throughout the rest of the levels. Um, so the game's assuming that's the lot. This is the last path we take because these ones are at the end, or those strawberries are at the end. And we come back up through here. Perfect. Where does this come out, though? Andy? What? Thank you so much. Four months already. Nice. Wow, yeah, four months. That's... That's quite a while. Gosh, it's, it feels so weird that I've been streaming for... over that now. That's a long time. 
Welcome back to Name Pending, though. I really appreciate that. I hope you enjoy yourself while you're here. Was this a secret? No. However, now that that's gone, can we... Get sort of the floor here. Aha! So here's a secret. Here's something I didn't find last time. Nope. So which one's that? That's technically the final one. Okay. So that's one of the strawberries we were missing. And then is this how we go back up? I was just asking how we came out there. Okay. Beautiful. So we're already making progress. I know I also say this a lot, but more emotes will be coming soon. Soon-ish PM. Uh, so the game normally assumes... Had a tiring weekend? Oh gosh! Good tiring or bad tiring? Like. Lots of annoying stuff, or like you got to do a bunch that you were wanted to do, and it just wore you out. Good tiring? Nice. Reach for the top nationals for this weekend, and you were directing the live coverage and the finals game recording? Oh wow, that's fantastic. Yeah, I bet, um, yeah, the Nationals are probably quite the big deal. Directing the live coverage in the finals game recording. I've heard that, um, like, live broadcast rooms are just a whirlwind of insanity. Uh, so I bet, yeah, I can see how that would be very, very draining. That's fantastic, though. I think it was done via Zoom as well. Oh, true. Yeah, because of... Right, this year would be a lot different. And that would come with its own slew of, of really difficult challenges. Wow. Well, that's that's impressive that you still, like, managed to pull it off and uh, got the, uh, got the broadcast like, completed and that's awesome. What is the point of this corner up in here? This run has been so good. The run of prey? That's awesome, love. That's gotta be a secret up above me. It's gotta be. Alright, so he sneaks away in there. Knew it. It's blocked! Oh no! Wait, but does that lead to the... No, because the B-side's in the next level, so where does that go? Where does that go? You gotta get rid of purple? Pretty sure... Shoot, I can't get back out of here now, though. Oh, we might have to redo this level then, because I don't think you can come back down these paths once you've cleared them. Maybe you can. We'll see. Oh, there's one that we didn't get last time. Uh... I remember seeing that one. How do we get to that, though? I don't think the water lets us go through the red stuff. Well, that's not gonna do it. I... Oh, it just 
just barely not. Oops. Uh, you've been in charge of setting the tournament schedule for years, but this is the first year you've put on the director hat as well. Oh, wow. Okay. And the first year you had to put on the director's hat was the year that everything was being done via Zoom. So it wasn't like you could uh, sort of fully lean on how you'd seen it done in the past. Wow, that's a big responsibility. That's fantastic. Really tired. I think you may head to sleep. Have a good night. Oh, okay, Sammy. Good night. Get some good rest. Thank you for hanging out. Serves you right for speaking up in your production meeting in March to be all... Yeah, we can absolutely record games from Zoom and stream things. OBS is straightforward to work with. Oh, so you... <laughs> so you, you said, like, yeah, this can be made to work, and they were like, okay, do it. <laughs> I see. Was that the play, actually? Get into that second one, and then, like, hold the wall for a second. Except not. Oh, so I can't crawl back up like that. Pretty much it was, uh, it seems as though you know what you're doing, do it? Yeah. I mean, lucky for them that they had someone on staff who was pretty familiar with OBS already. I'm not doing a good job of just, like, holding that wall. I don't think that water lets me get down through there, so how am I supposed to get to that strawberry? I can't dash through that, can I? There's gotta be another way to get into that room. Can I come from a different direction, maybe? The important thing is that the students enjoyed themselves and got a good experience. Sure, yeah. Even though it wasn't the same experience as everyone gets to compete in Toronto for a weekend. Mm -hmm. And you missed that too, to a degree? Yeah. For sure. I wish I had gotten more involved in things when I was a student. I, I let my social anxiety... Not that I necessarily would have done Reach for the Top, although maybe I would have, but... Uh, but just in general, I let my social anxiety prevent me from doing a lot of of opportunities and things when I was younger. Well, I still do sometimes today, but... Okay, I don't know how we get to that strawberry. the Americans reach for the top is essentially quiz bowl. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know I could grab that and just hide up in here. It's pretty cool. Um... Yeah, there's, there's no way in this level that I'm aware of to remove the red goo, so I don't think it's possible to get that strawberry from in here. Which means I gotta find my... somewhere from the side, maybe? Or... Or there's a way to drain water? I don't know. Let's just progress. That's the only other strawberry that we need in this level, so we got to figure out how to get it. Oh, see, and if the, if the purple stuff 
Yeah, we should have done the purple first because it would have opened up a bunch more paths for us. It's okay. Jesus, how do I get... such a small window to try and get past that thing when it's down at the bottom. Oh no, I don't go when it's down at the bottom, I go when it's at the top. That's silly of me. Okay, they come up, and I go down, and I cut in here, I go back up, and then I get out. That's what we do. Yes, but see, like, this needs to be gone, potentially. What do I do in there? Jump out, dash straight up, and get onto a wall? This room's tough. But I absolutely should have removed the purple stuff before coming in here. It's not gonna cut it. It's a tight dash. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. angle instead. Ah, and then I just didn't jump out far enough. God, that's... I don't want to fully say that that gap there is pixel perfect to dash through, but it's not too far off. silly mistakes and letting go of the wall when I don't need to. Okay, that gets us through there. Then we just fall down here. Uh, okay, so slide down, dash across, slide down. strawberry under there that we already have so we don't need to bother grabbing it again. Oh no, that was silly of me. the end of this level. Oh no, this one gets rid of the purple. So we have to be able to come back in here because there was purple stuff blocking. Oh, so this level we come back through even after we've already beaten it? That's interesting. Oh, it puts us... No. Oh, we came out in here. That's... okay, that's fine. See that lower section... came back... See that filled up again. What? How am I supposed to ever... That section removes the purple, how do I get back in? Can I go in now that I've talked to him? Because all the doors were blocked off again? This just takes me back in here. All right, this just goes in here. Half the party comes? Nice, love. That's fantastic. And it was a good run, you were saying? Like, everybody was just... Just rocking it? That's fun. I'm so confused. How...
Is there some way for me to get back in there? Maybe it'll open it up later once I've cleared all three levels somehow? I'm a little confused, but... It'll be fine, I guess. Yeah, it was stunning. Bunch of 80s. Nice. So, okay, so just everybody knew what they were doing and did it efficiently. We'll get it figured out? Oh, yeah. Won't be a problem. <gasps> did I see that the first time I came through here? And I just erased it from my mind because I didn't know what it was. remember seeing that. Whatever. So, okay. But there's, so there's no way to get into there from this room. We have to come up from somewhere below. Oh, those, they come right up to the center there. Okay. So we're done in here. There's a strawberry down there, which we don't need. This room goes up? How do we get down below it? I wonder if there's a secret pat. It could be one of the secret passages, actually, that we noticed in that bottom, or that middle tunnel. All right, so maybe it's not actually in this tunnel, but it's in that middle tunnel. But again, how do we get to those if we... We'll, we'll, think, we'll think about it. Uh, I mean, I'm confident there's nothing over here, but I want to check it anyway. There's also that box over there on the side that I don't know why that's there. Do I need to fuck around and slide down these walls just to verify that there's no secrets in here? No, because these guys never go past edges when they're on the wall like that, so like, there can't be a secret wall path in here, I don't think. Ah, fuck it. I'm gonna try. Seemed like there was one there. Okay, let's just move on. What's up in here? Okay. Yeah, see, again, so this, this would be a shortcut if... the green books weren't here, but we removed the green books in this path. There's got to be a at some point where we can get back down these paths. Maybe after we use the key to open the next room, instead of going onward, we could come cut back. Something like that. down. Okay, gotcha. Easy, we out. We've already, yeah, we already got both the strawberries along this route. So we've seen the last strawberry and we've seen the crystal heart now. So that's good that we know that both of them are in this section. this and then dash and then wall jump oh no I can't wall jump that far how do I have to dash and then Oh, I need to fall and grab the wall and then wall, that's just, and then wall jump out. That's what I gotta do. I like that though. Like that. 
Boom, okay, so we're done with this section. All the books come back in. There's a secret, or not a secret, but there's a room that I don't think I've been in yet. Did I do this room? No, I can't. I don't think I've seen this room yet today, so we don't know where that goes. Oh, that cleared itself off. So now, okay, so they're all blocked off currently. Grab the key. They're still all blocked off. This is just that other one. Doesn't go anywhere. Gotta be... I wonder if it's some kind of like weird... If, the, if there are potentially passages between the paths, I wonder if there's some way to like... A clear path to... And then... Like get in path 3 somehow? Oh, that doesn't make any sense. I mean, it's possible, but it doesn't make... I don't think it's... Okay, you open. Now we talk to you. Skip cutscene. Then you leave, and now I go back and see if the paths opened up. My hope is that they did. No, they didn't. How do we... How do I get into there? I can't, like, sneak in from this way somehow, can I, now that... This so just cuts over in here. This is where, just where we play. Hmm, okay. Well. There's no, like, secret passages out here, are there? We know where that comes from, we know where this goes. This lets us get back down below here. Is there any other secrets in here that we didn't get last time? Side passages or... No, it doesn't seem to be. Hallway, right? Just, the only purpose of this is to like, get us back here. Yeah. We just came out of a passage in the ceiling. Came back through here, and then it seemed like it. Like it sealed itself off while we were dangling from it. You had an idea on how to get the strawberry, but it was a while ago. The, um... Well, there's only... It's probably the same one, because there's only one strawberry left that we haven't got in this area. W was it the one that was, like, in the little alcove in the bottom right, but it was, like, completely sealed off by the red stuff, and there was, like, water flowing in by it? Is that the one you're thinking of? Yeah? Was it... My idea was that I had to come in from a different way, but... Did you have another theory? Yeah, so this is a checkpoint. We'll have to come back to this area. Uh, do I come back to this area now? Yeah, I had to come in a different way. Mm -hmm. That was my idea, too. Did you have, like, an idea of, like, where that other route was? Or... Not that I can get back to any of them right now, because I'd have to... If I understand correctly, you were in front of it, so extrapolate there was water flowing through it. Oh yeah, the, the next room I was in had like water flowing through it. Could I I wonder if I could have gotten over into that 
we'll double check that the next time we come through here. Mm -hmm, that was your idea? We'll definitely give that a try. Uh, so what do I need to remember? Because I'm not, I'm not going to restart that section immediately, because since we're in Section 3 and we have a bunch of stuff to get in Section 3, I'm just going to play through the level. But, well, unless I get stuck, because there are some hard sections in this level. But I need to remember that strawberry was in the middle path. The crystal heart you can see from the upper path, but the upper path goes over and up and around and it had a passage coming in from the bottom. So I think you have to get into the crystal heart from the middle path too, but I'm not positive. So those are the two things I need to remember for this for that section. This section, we didn't get any strawberries last time. that up. Okay. Doesn't go anywhere. We can talk to Theo. Okay, so that's not a secret either. That's the only reason Theo's over here. Okay, none of this is secrets. Okay. Oh, this room sealed itself off after it came in here. Okay, well, that's fine. Oh, it's not gonna do it. Okay, wait, I gotta think about this. Dash, dash up and grab that one, fall down, wall jump. I wonder, can I... I didn't need to burn that dash there. I could have done that slightly better. Yeah, see, because I can, I can jump and dash, get my dash back, but hit lock so then I can fall down, dash through, and essentially do the same thing on that side. Yeah, okay. Mess up the dash. Gotta fall, dash to the left. Fall, dash to the left. Okay, that works. Kinda. Okay, that's that also works. Like a secret? I don't think so. All these rooms seal off after you come into them. Oh, I remember this. Oh, I remember this one. I spent a long time in this room. Right, because to get to the strawberry, I need to weave my way up, come across. Yes, which means I need to leave myself room to like work my way through. No, I like that. this room quite vividly because I was I feel like this was the first room in the game that I spent like, a long long time on oops fucked up I landed 
care perfectly that last time, but... Can you remember this room, too? Yeah. This one's a bit of a doozy. That's not a good first landing. I left myself quite... ...trouble. Okay, that's better. Okay, that's okay. That's not bad. Oh, so close. Not that I would have necessarily gotten it from that point, but that was... That was essentially what I needed to do there. I just messed up that last jump a little bit. It's not great. It's... Can be done like that, I think. Nope. And in a little too far. Okay, that's... Ah, drifted back into that. Oh. <laughs> I'm trying to give myself so much extra room. And I keep, like, drifting away in here. I think it's worthwhile to do, though. Oh no. Dash diagonal, that's okay. I think trying to be perfect on the first pass is the way to go though, and then like giving myself some room for the second pass. That just fucked me. Whoops. Pretty sure. Ooh, well, try. Oh, let's see, I gotta. Yeah, I can't. I can't land and then run along that ledge. However, I get up on that ledge, I need to stop immediately. start either. We're just going to reset. That's alright. That's good. There's a gap I could potentially land in there. Unless I do that. Then there's this section. Which involves jump, dash, precise fall, dash over. Not quite. But we got to there with the strawberry. Which... Closer than I got the last time I was in here before I gave up on the strawberry. Oh, why did I do that? Okay, take a sec, drink some water. Got this. Thank you, love. I appreciate that. I appreciate actually all of you being here right now. That's not good.
Ah, Gosh, that's... That falling section's pretty tight. Is this thing getting better even with small mistakes, you know? Yes, it is true. I'm definitely making progress. Oh, that was silly. there. Ending right on the edge. That's... Ooh, okay. I'm looking up that little bottom section. these first two platforms. Would it be possible... What? Can I ask a dumb question? There's no such thing. You can ask whatever question you'd like. My question I just would ask was, would it be possible to, like, jump, grab the strawberry dash, barely get over this, and come back to the starting area? I can't exit this way? I can't exit where I started, but I was wondering if I could come over here to collect the strawberry. Because once I have the strawberry, I don't need it anymore. So I was wondering if it would be easier to grab it, bring it over here to, like, get it, and then... It's, it's narrow here, though. I gotta... Here, jump dash. Okay, we get to here. Go to here. Dash, get in here. See, then I. No, I think I just fucked up. Gotta walk to here, and then jump out to here. And we gotta jump. Ooh. Close. That might be possible. I wonder if this is worth trying, because it's like a different... I was getting pretty close to completing it the other way, I don't... I don't know if this is easier or not. I'll try it this way a couple more times, just because it's... novel and different. Oh, well, unless we just mess it up completely. See, the tricky part is like... Then when I get down here, I'm going to have to jump and dash at the right timing. Which actually you all can't see because my webcam's in the way, but... Oh, I fucked up and was just doing my normal thing again. Oh, that's not good. not possible. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, if my strat is to go turn the strawberry in over there anyway, I don't need to leave that middle section traversable. This first section, absolutely. And like here, like here I could just run across and land wherever because 
Oh, again though, I forgot what I was trying to do. <laughs> I get up to that part and I'm just like, okay, now I'm just trying to fall through the gap. Which is not what I'm supposed to be working on here. We don't... Okay. Jump! Oh my god! Okay. Ah, I jumped too far. wasn't able to hop in my uh, spots that I left for myself. Nice. We had the idea, and we were correct. Dope. That's the first one we were supposed to have encountered in this section, so we know we haven't missed anything yet. That's exciting, too. Okay, so now we die. And then now, we don't even need to worry about this finicky middle section, because we don't have to come back around, so we can literally just dash through it, dash through it, dash, and then just try to clear this section. Okay, I think that definitely was the play. I do think I could have pulled it off this other way, but just having to leave like spots on these platforms and go back through it again, there's just so many spots that it can fuck up. And so I think it would have taken us a lot longer to try and do it that way. And now we're through the room. Easy peasy. So glad it worked, yeah. Me too. Uh, so this room, I recall I dash across, wall jump, wall jump, dash, wall jump, wall jump. Oh my god. Oh, but then I lost my grip and I fell too far. I can't believe I managed to avoid that thing. down again. Oh no, I lost my grip too quickly. Oh, fucked that up. Thought I was sliding down the wall faster and then... through there. Oh, he... This is him getting up... Okay, so it won't let us cut through here. I was going to say, like, there's lots of paths in here, but... Um... Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, can I not make that? Okay, there's an another strawberry. Okay, so we could come back up into here. We can't go any further back, but I just wanted to check these corners for... I think this is probably our next strawberry in here. Now... How to get that? I'm just gonna shift my webcam for a second just so people can see what I'm pondering about. So I think I gotta run along the bottom there, get on that wall, wall jump, dash straight up, and then cling to the one of the walls in there after I grab the strawberry, and then try and fall off at an angle so I pass through there and land just barely on the edge. So I'd have to leave the edge over here clear. Plus there's this thing to time. Gosh, this is this is tricky.
Nope. Didn't mean to use my dash there. So like this, and then not that much though. Wow, okay, so you when you let go you can really take yourself far, so it's gonna be tricky to drop straight. I wonder actually if the play instead of going up and getting on the wall is to, to dash dash straight up, get the strawberry, and as I fall, just try to drift over to the side afterwards. Like I, I like the idea of grabbing the wall to give myself a couple seconds just to think. But I wonder if the play is actually just That makes the fall easier, it's just that the timing's tougher in that scenario. Okay, so that's what I gotta do, and then I think I'm same as the last level. I'm just gonna try and just jump, dash back up into the where I dropped down here, wall jump my way up, and, and grab the strawberry up at the beginning instead of trying to take it through the whole way with me. But that timing was good. Oh, that jump's not good though. Just like that. That's number two. We are out. Okay, we gotta go get a key and come back to here. That's fine. Uh, hey, you followed through Picto? Yeah, I recognize you, Phantom. I, I recognize you over from Picto Space. Welcome in. I appreciate the follow, and I appreciate you stopping by to say hello. Hope you are doing well today. Uh, do I want to go up above for some reason? Not really sure what this does for me, if anything. Oh, just more secret stuff. Not secret stuff, but more like flavor text. Okay, but no. Okay, there's the key. This will have to take over there. Wait, but if there's the key, that means I have to get at least over to there, because we need the key to progress. And if we need the key to progress, that means it's not going to lock me down here if I slide down into this room. Okay. There's a strawberry we found already. We never found any strawberries in this section before. Which means that strawberry is in a previous section? Hm. Or the next section. Next section, maybe. Uh, instead of like RPGs and strategy games, what are some of my favorites? Oh, well that's, um, that's a good question. I, I really love the uh, the Tales of series. It's a series of uh, JRPGs. Uh, Final Fantasy series, of course, as well. That's much more well known. Um, for strategy games, I love Darkest Dungeon. I play Darkest Dungeon actually on stream every uh, Monday. Except not tomorrow, because... Uh, this week will be moved, it'll be moved to Wednesday. Um, let's see. What are some other good strategy games that I love? Um, I've been playing through Wargroove my own time recently, not on stream, but I'm really enjoying that. Uh, as for like older ones, um, there was an old. Um, an old strategy game on the original Xbox called Gladius that had to do with like, well, it was Gladiators, but it had like a actually a pretty good like, story, and uh, I was really into that game for a long time. 
Hey, I gotta play more Tales of games. I highly recommend them. The Tales of games are fantastic. Their game series is Final Fantasy. Yeah, Final Fantasy is great too. Which is uh, which is your favorite Final Fantasy? Mine personally is six, followed by nine. Uh, you have Darkest Dungeon, but haven't played it yet. Is it hard to understand? And Wargroove looks good too. It looks like Advance Wars. Yes, very similar. Wargroove is a very like sort of classic, um, like tactical, like grid layout strategy game. Um, very similar to Advance Wars. Uh, is Darkest Dungeon hard to understand? No, it's just hard. Um, Darkest Dungeon mixes a roguelike with strategy, and so it's you're frequently like losing your characters. They're when they die, it's permanent. But like that's that's by intention. You're not supposed to be able to beat it without losing any characters, unless you're Picto. Um, but it's I don't find it too difficult to understand. Really, like I when I lose a character, I know why it happened. That there isn't there aren't things going on that I don't get. The game can just be very very punishing. And sometimes through no fault over your own, like because uh, there is some RNG in it determining like damage numbers and hits and stuff. So sometimes you can do everything perfectly and still lose a character just because the RNG was really really bad, which is definitely not for some people. Um, okay, well, like easy to pick up, hard to master. Yes, yeah, for sure. Uh, the the game does a fairly good job of explaining stuff at least early later on it sort of relies on you to, to pick some things up but um, but no I mean if you if you think it looks interesting I'd definitely uh, maybe fire it up and give it a try or I'm on Wednesday and you can see what it's like hey Griff welcome in good to see you congratulations by the way How is the stream community on it too? Pretty good. Um, you will get some people uh, who come in and will be fairly vocal about like how they think you should be playing. But so far, I've had pretty good luck with if I just say like, "Hey, I'm just like, I don't want to like know anything that I don't already know. Like, I'm just trying to figure it out myself." Uh, they've been pretty good about res like respecting. Like I haven't had to like ban anyone because they were being shitty about Darkest Dungeon. Um, the people who have come in, I've just been like, hey, like please, just let me figure stuff out on my own and make mistakes if I if I'm gonna make a mistake. And they're like, okay. And they've been they've been decent that way. Another strawberry. Wait, there's two strawberries in here? This is both the strawberries we need? Did I not find this room last time? What is the timing here? This is... Okay, that's kind of like what I need to do. Oh, I just timed that jump, that's okay. Oh, it resets me back to here? It's convenient, I guess. It saves me some time. Okay, we get that strawberry. Then... Oh, I ran out of grip. I didn't go quickly enough. Oh, what? Okay, so this is... Certainly non-trivial. Uh, we get that. Gotta be careful. I don't. Oh, I don't know where to go after that. Oh, I guess I could wall hop back. It's hmm. an idea. this and fall down here and collect the, the strawberry 
Nice. That's one down. Uh, favorite FO tough single player main ones really like eight and ten. Sure, actually need to actually beat nine, but you loved what you played of it. Nice. Since like you haven't gotten to play much, but you love the characters and what you know of the game. Sure, sure, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I absolutely love six. Those are all all strong ones, though. Um, I find eight is very underappreciated. Um, it's it's oftentimes almost like. In a lot of people's minds, the black sheep of the Final Fantasy community. I think just because, like, seven took Final Fantasy much more mainstream than it had ever been before, and then when the next one wasn't like the same thing, a lot of people sort of irrationally wrote it off because of that. But I do like eight quite a bit. Like in 14, you fought Kefka the other day, and that was awesome. His theme song. Oh my god, yes. Dancing Mad is a fantastic track. I love Kefka. Kefka's, uh... Well, interestingly enough, actually, 9 and 6 also have my... Well, 6 and then 9 also have my favorite villains in the franchise. And I don't know if that's entirely why those are my two favorites, but I am sure it definitely has... Uh, definitely has, or is, is part one of the factors. Okay, we're down here. Yep, totally get that. I mm. uh, love the, the cowboy aesthetics in eight and the character designs. Mm, yes, yes. Okay, so you go away. We drop. We dash across. Okay, we're good here. For FanFest for 14 for a limited time, Dancing Mad Orchestrian rules are on sale? Are they? Like, for real money or for, like, there's a Moogle that has them in the game? I'm not currently registered for 14. Like, I don't have any game time on my account, but that is very tempting. So you go back, jump, dash. No, that's not going to cut it. Back across, we dash over here. Oh, I messed that up. I needed to not touch the ground again. to get to that wall. Oh, that was close. Dash in, okay. In-game event until June 13th. Okay. That's that's very exciting. Thank you for informing me of that. So what I need to do, when, when the jump timing comes, I need to jump and then I need to dash almost like straight up so I don't fall down on the center one when it's over on the right. I just fall down to the safety. Something like that. I'm not great at explaining what I'm intending, but I think I have the right idea here. June 14th, gotcha. It's a Moogle event where basically you run certain trials. Yeah, okay, yes. So, we'll, yeah, one of the uh, the tombstone things. You turn those tokens into Moogles in the main city for prizes. Right, gotcha. Dancing Mad Movement 1, 2, 3, and 4 in there. Oh, gosh, I didn't know the game had that many versions in there. It's exciting. Hmm, that's not quite what I needed to do. It's nice that there's variety. I much prefer the strawberries in this game where the challenge, main challenge is in getting to them, but then once you get to them, you pretty much collect them right away. Um, 
getting to the strawberry and then having to bring it back somewhere is a little annoying. It feels almost like a escort mission. Not exactly, but... There we go. I just had to complain about it a little bit. And we got it. So that's all the strawberries in this section. Music in this game is really good. Yeah, it is. Actually, the music's fantastic. What do you do in Celeste? Uh, so Celeste is a very... Um, pretty traditional platformer. Uh, so the goal is just to progress through increasingly hard and hard levels. And there is a story about it. Uh, the general premise is uh, you're this young girl who's decided to climb a mountain. And um, there's... Um, it deals a lot with, uh, with aspects of mental health. It deals a lot with um, aspects of figuring out who you are. Um, the story's quite good, actually. But, uh, the, yeah, the main goal is just, just platform your way through the levels and get to the top of the mountain. Uh, which we've already done. Now I'm going back and getting collectibles that I missed. There's, there's like, things you can... You don't have to grab in each level, but you can. I got some of them on my first playthrough. I didn't get them all. So we're, we're working our way back through and looking for secrets, essentially. Did I... I dropped from down there. What was over this way? Oh, right, this was just this looking room. So now we can... Well, actually, we've got... All the strawberries in this level, so we can just continue on. Oh, this just shows us a key. Oh, this whole room is just for it stuff. I gotcha. Oh, this is like back at the beginning. I remember this room. Okay, are you a completionist or achievement hunter in game? Sometimes. Depends on the game. Uh, some games I will get really into and fully complete them. Like um, like Persona 5, I got the Platinum achievement for. Uh, Final Fantasy 15, I got the Platinum achievement for. This is on PlayStation, of course. Um, I'm working towards Platinum and Horizon Zero Dawn. I think I'll probably get it in that, too, because I'm really loving that game. Uh, but other games, sometimes I'll play them, I'll enjoy them, I'll beat them, and that'll be enough. I don't, I don't need to get everything in every game. Oh, I thought I was going to mess that up, so I got... See, the timing doesn't work out if I do those the way I've been doing them. Oh, just barely didn't clear that last one. It's okay. Nice. There we go. Uh, oh yeah, we already grabbed this. Now that I have this key, do I have to... Wait, no, I can go up this way. That's right. I didn't need to go the other way. Unlock that. Hopefully that's the end of this section. Not quite. Eh? Uh, do I bother going through these last couple rooms? We already know where the we already know the crystal hearts in the previous section. I just got the last strawberry in this section. I can probably just exit out and skip right to the next section instead of playing these last couple rooms to get to the next section. That seems faster. We're getting there. Almost all the strawberries. Only up to 813 deaths. No big deal. Let's play this last section. Uh, no, skip cutscene. So there's... There's three strawberries here. We've gotten, uh... For anyone wondering how I'm getting in this information, the um that that bar at the bottom of the screen there with all the blue dots, um, blue dots represent strawberries that I've gotten, gray dashes represent strawberries that I haven't found, and if I get a strawberry in this run, it turns into a red dot. So we know there's in this last section there's three total. We got the middle one last time. We didn't get the first or the third one, so those are what we're looking for right now. 
and then we're going to go back and there's still one in the second section. What are the strawberries for? Um, primarily they are just for completion. Well, I shouldn't say that. I think they do unlock some things if you get like all of them. I don't know exactly what. Um, I haven't really looked it up. I'm, I've, I've enjoyed this game so much that it, well, after I beat it, I just decided to go back and get things that I missed without really knowing if they gave me anything or not. Um, but, I mean, this, this game has uh, rewards for all sorts of stuff that are mostly just like for pride's sake. Like, for instance, if you if you beat a level without dying at all, the game gives you a golden strawberry. I don't think it does anything other than signify that you accomplished that. But it's pretty cool. I don't know if I'll play it enough to do that. I don't think I'm going to do any deathless runs. Although we'll see. Maybe eventually someday. If I haven't grown tired of it. But uh, no, I don't want to watch cutscenes. Oh god, this thing again. Uh, can you... I'm just trying to check if there's secrets over here. Can you leave me alone for a few seconds? Okay. So, where's the first strawberry in this level? I haven't seen one yet. Do I see anywhere there could be a secret? No, not yet. I bounced into that and died. That was silly of me. Oh, and I didn't climb that fast enough. There we go. Ooh, didn't clear that either. Okay. Oh, that was not good. I had fair bit of trouble with this level when I first played it, so I'm not exactly expecting to get through it easy. I'm alarmed I haven't seen a strawberry yet. Are they hidden somewhere? Am I missing them? is that they're just somewhere out in the open, and the reason I didn't get them last time is because I was too concerned with just beating the level for the first time, because I was having a really tough time with it. But it could also be that I never saw them, because they were hard to find. Okay, now there's one. Uh, one that I'm not even sure how I get to. head. Oh, I jumped too early there. I don't think with just the jump and the dash I can make that. Maybe worth another try, but I feel like I probably have to use the boss in some way to get this one, like that. But because there's no way I can get up in there from underneath, I don't think. Don't mess that up. Okay. Nope, I mistimed that. Oh, 
Oh, I should have ducked. Oh, and then I just made a silly mistake. Okay, take a second. Stretch. Actually, we're past my usual break time. Maybe I should just like, actually get up and walk around for a second, get some more water, and and then come back. If I go to the menu, does it kill the music? It muffles it a little bit. Do people want muffled music while I'm on my break, or do they want full, full volume music? Uh, it'll only be a few minutes, but I urge... Uh, if there's anything any of you need to do to take care of yourselves, whether it's get a snack, get a drink, stretch, use the washroom... Remind yourselves that you're fantastic and doing the best you can. Whatever the case may be. We'll leave it full volume. It should be fine. Uh, but I'll be right back.
Hello, hello. We're back. It was kind of cool out in my kitchen, so I put my cardigan back on. Okay. Oh, fuck that up. Let's start. I kind of... That timing there messed me up. I kind of screwed myself by not being... I should let him go... Oh no, I fucked that up by using my dash. Okay. Back in the groove here. That was... Unique series of events. I think what I gotta do here is... Ah, oh, it's way too early. Oops. So what does Ravazin mean, if I don't mind you asking? I certainly don't mind you asking. It doesn't really have a meaning. Um, Ravison is just a name I made for a character years and years and years ago and I just kinda I sort of just played around with letters until I found something that I liked the sound of and that's what I named my character and then uh, when it came time to make handles for various other games other websites etc I would usually just sort of pick and choose between various character names that I had that I liked and Ravison was the one that sort of stuck with me the best and I ended up using for most platforms. Gotcha, what was the character for? The character was for a very old MMO, which actually still exists. It's, I believe, the oldest MMO still running, uh, called Nexus TK. do this. No, I don't think I can clear that without bouncing off his head. Whoops. Pushed into that wall. Let's think about this. I don't think there's any way for me to get up from the bottom. I gotta go over the top somehow. I think it's gotta involve... kind of doing that, but the timing for that is rough. Oh, I messed that up. This is going to take a while if I can't even get to the point where I consistently get to the strawberry. I hope it's in the right, that platform becomes unusable. After I touch it, I need to make sure that I... There we go. So you're gonna come in here like this. Oh, I jumped way too early. Like, as soon as he starts moving, I'm like, okay, time to jump. But he doesn't move that fast. Well, once he gets going, he actually moves really quick, though, so that's part of what's fucking me up a little bit. Oh, see, I missed it there, though. Should have ducked. Okay. Set yourself. Oh, see. I think that would have been it if I'd actually got the jump. Very close. Oh, came down too low with me. Here's a question. I wonder if bouncing off his head resets my dash. Oh, see, that was close. It's very close. Didn't get 
bounce. And then I dash directly into the wall. It's okay. Ooh. Oh, that was bad of me. Who is this creepy guy? This is Mr. Oshiro. He is indeed a bit of a creepy guy. Well. He's not. He is and he isn't. He's a unresting spirit who has some, uh, some issues that he still needs to work through. Why is he trying to eat us? Uh, well, that would be a spoiler. Oops. Long story short, he was very invested in us staying at his hotel, and we refused. What? Oh, I don't... I think I got my jump off there. I don't know about that one. I don't disagree with many of my deaths. Most of them are completely my fault, but I'm not sure about that, that one there. I feel like... Eh. Doesn't matter. What if I just run through here and then... Do this? Come on now. Nope, that wasn't the timing. So that was a little early, right? Or was it a little late that I jumped that time? Yeah, actually it was a little late. Yeah, see, that didn't come down in time there. That was too, way too early. That's, that's a tight window. <laughs> Sprung myself up into that. Oh, whoops. Hmm. Take you out that way, then we run along here. The problem with taking this lower route is I sort of trap myself. Whoops. Sorry for being quiet, running the new near raid, so you had to mute, but uh, I'll be back soon. I love you. I love you! I hope the raid went well. Oh, that was just a little early. I was close that time. Oh, I just did that again. A lot of, a lot of die in the same way. Oh, I didn't get to that. Just unlocked that raid last night and ran it for the first time. Uh, had to tell me how I enjoyed it. Yeah, it's hard. It was a lot of wiping. Oh, sure, I bet. Lots of instant death mechanics. Oh gosh, yeah. I have not done any of the near raids. but I'm also not much of a reader, so... What did I play? Uh, my first class that I guess you could say I main was Warrior. Uh, but Warrior, Gunbreaker, Scholar, and Machinist are all at 80.
Okay, so you beat Shadowbringers, I assume? Yes, I'm... I want to say I'm caught up to 5.4. I haven't done 5.5 .5 and I haven't done 5.55. Which is the stuff that just came out, I think. him. The timing's just so hard. Oh, that was close. That was close, too. Oh, that was... Uh, yeah, there's like three or so new quests, you believe, in 5.55? Yeah. And then yeah, 5.5 came out early May. That sounds right. That sounds like when people were making a big deal of it. Why did I stop playing? A uh, combination of things. The main reason is because, uh, for whatever reason, I can't do duties anymore. Um, I like lag out completely to the point of DCing whenever I'm in anything instance. So dungeons, trials, raids. Um, but like, I can run around the world map fine. I can hang out in the main cities fine. I just disconnect from anything that's like instanced content. Um, other reasons, I wasn't really, even before that started happening, I wasn't Where that doesn't happen in any other game. No, no, I don't tend to have connection issues in anything, really. Um, and then even beyond that, I didn't, I didn't really feel I was getting, I was just playing other things, like I wasn't really getting my money's worth out of my subscription time. Which happens to me a lot in MMOs, like, eventually I'll start like only occasionally doing stuff in them and then it's just like, why am I paying for this every month when I'm only spending like a, like an hour every day kind of thing. Um, and I think an underlying reason for that is just I really didn't like Shadowbringers. Um, I know every it's largely considered fantastic and a lot of people love it, but I it really reduced my enjoyment of the game overall. Personal preference? Yeah, exactly. I loved Heaven's Ward, and I actually really liked Stormblood too. Um not as much. Heaven's Ward is by far my favorite. But Shadowbringers just didn't do it for me, but I am tentatively excited for some of the stuff I'm seeing for Endwalker. Some cool looking stuff. Um, oh, that was so close. I guess I need to bounce on him closer to the wall to actually get over it. Maybe. Um, tell your pins and it wouldn't trash anyone for not liking or liking certain things. Yeah, oh, absolutely. I, um... Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't, it doesn't bother me that everyone likes Shadowbringers, then I don't. Uh, well, except a little bit for the fact that people really hyped it up for me, because I didn't, I wasn't playing when Shadowbringers first came out, so I, I caught up, and th through the entire time I was playing, everyone was like, Shadowbringers, Shadowbringers, Shadowbringers. And so when I finally got to it, I think some of my dislike is just not living up to the hype. Um, what didn't I like about it? In addition to it not living up to the hype, um, wasn't into the antagonist, Emmett, like at all. Um, I see what they were trying to do, but to me, they like they tried to make, instead of just having him being like a, I'm really evil bad guy, like previous antagonists were, they tried to make him sympathetic, but at least for me, they failed, it didn't connect. And so, I was just kind of like, oh, I don't really care about this guy. And then, a lot of that, in general, actually, was just not connecting with the characters or their arcs. Um, there was a lot of focus on, like, Minophilia, who I never really cared about in the previous expansions. Um, and then... What 
shift. I'm trying to remember what some of my other issues were. Yeah, the dad that a little bit of Philly arc you weren't a fan of. Mm -hmm. It that arc did slightly improve for me as it went on. Um, like where it ended, I was like, okay, I guess this wasn't a waste of my time. <laughs> but uh, but certainly while it was happening, I was like, I'm not really not really vibing with this. Oh, I feel like I'm getting, I don't know if it's intentional in the game, but like, I feel like right when I bounce off his head there, I'm getting like frame drops or like a slight lag spike or something that makes it hard to control my dash. I don't know if that's showing up on stream if it looks weird when I manage to land the bounce on his head. I've only done it a couple of times, so I'd be, I wouldn't be surprised if no one's noticed, but that's a little weird. Um... So... Okay, you're back, hi. Hello, I love you. Whoops. You missed us talking a little bit about... Uh... Gosh, it just occurred to me that some of the, the gripes I listed, I went in a little more detail than I probably should have. I don't know if there was anyone here who got spoiled. Hopefully not. I'm sorry if someone picked up a spoiler from that. I didn't really get in depth, I was mostly just talking about characters and not really actually what happens to them, but uh, I'm very sorry if, if that did accidentally spoil someone. Do I get this to go away? Oh, there it goes. I accidentally opened the thing at the top of my stream chat, I was just trying to... Um, what was I gonna ask? Oh, love, did you know that they're, that Dancing Mad is an Orchestrian role in four different parts that's available from the Moogles currently? Probably you did. You, you know basically everything that's going on in the game. Yes, you're saving for it now? Perfect, thank you. Uh, I think I'll come back for Endwalker. I'd like to. I would definitely like to give Endwalker a try. Um, I'm kind of in a weird position right now because, like, as I mentioned, I'm having those difficulties with, like, disconnecting during the duties, but I also don't have any game time, so, like, it, I'd have to buy game time in order to be able to, like, troubleshoot and try stuff out and test to see if it's working. Because if I can't run the duties, I don't think there's much point in buying the expansion. But I can't troubleshoot whether I can run duties until I spend money on game time. And... So I was actually maybe thinking of switching over and playing it on PS4. Again, though, I would need game time to see if it runs well on PS4, but I assume it would. But I'm also not fully cut up in terms of expansions on PS4. I would have to buy uh, Stormblood and Shadowbringers. Which in and of itself is a fairly large... Can I maybe... Get through, up through this way? Not sure how, IT, how ITs have it, but have I tried opening up ports that uh, 14 uses? I I checked what ports it uses, and I'm pretty sure they were ones I already had open. I, I can certainly double check that again. Um, I have... Potentially, maybe if it uses something super unique. I have most ports that like online games use already open. Uh, or something like No Ping Program. I'm not familiar with that. I've never heard of No Ping Program. Nope, too early. Gosh, do I really have to bounce off this guy's head? Well, 
one of the annoying parts about getting strawberries is like you got to find them then you got to figure out like what the mechanics are to actually get to them and then you have to execute those mechanics and actually do it right now i feel like i'm sort of almost stuck at stage two where i'm not even sure if my approach is correct like, i don't know i assume i have to bounce on his head to give me a little bit of height so i can dash across and then fall down through the strawberry and land I don't think I can... Maybe I could bounce on his head and just come up straight from the bottom and not have to go over the top there. Maybe worth a try. Probably easier to get the timing on bouncing on his head if I'm just like doing it right there as opposed to like trying to jump out and like have him come behind me with the right timing. I guess the real question is, does... Hmm. We'll give it a shot. Oh. Let's say we'll give it a shot and then I mess up. Well, I guess if I want to progress through this level, though, I do need to grab these uh, locks while I'm here. Actually, I can, I can come back and get the locks after if I get the strawberry. I don't need to uh, suffer with their like ping zapper, no ping setter, it's free trials you can check out to see, but basically it networks games through their servers so people usually get better connections. Ping's interesting. I suppose that makes sense that, that would be a service that gets offered. Nope, fuck that up. See, the problem with trying to do it over there is that the floor is bad, so... I don't have multiple attempts where they do from the top if I mess up. A bunch of raiders use that? Hmm, interesting. Might be worth looking into, or at least trying. Like, if I do get some, some game time and have the opportunity to troubleshoot some stuff, it might be worth doing their trial, at least to see if it works. My only concern with that is that if it does work, am I really going to want to then move past the free trial and pay for that and game time every month? I understand it for like high tier raiders who are really, really invested in that. But where all I want to do is just get through the, like, the content as is, or like at base level. I don't know if I want to pay extra subscriptions for things just to use it for anything. Yeah, sure, that's true. I suppose I could having it would just improve my gaming experience in general. I do play other things that, I mean, they don't lag noticeably, but I guess having a faster connection would be nice. I play I play Apex some. Worth thinking about. You offered a thing with exit lag, if I remember that. Exit lag. Oh, yes, I think I remember you talking about that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You use no ping at the moment, and it helps your connection in Japan connecting and still play on the NA data center. Oh, wow, and it does it well enough that you can you can do that comfortably, eh? That's actually very impressive, that it would cut it down enough that you can, you can play out of region like that. I want to reach out to they were going to give you stuff for free. Hmm. I mean, if they wanted to give me something for free, be cool. Okay, so drop down here. Ah, now I see my timing's wrong. Ah, this is. I might end up spending the rest of the.
Forward connection was poor sometimes or maybe good here. But now it's always good when you connect about 14. See, that's the thing, though. Well, not, not the thing, but an interesting part of this is that my connection shows as good on, on 14. But just as soon as I go into, like, a duty, I start dropping. Hey, all good to see you. Welcome in. But, like, the game doesn't seem to to register that I'm not connected well. It thinks my connection is still good, and then I disconnect and have to log back in. <laughs> Double check the ports it uses, if not, have you tried reaching out? I have not. I, I will admit I very rarely consult company supports because I usually assume they're going to be useless. But I, it would be worth a try. And I have heard decent things about Square Enix. How oh, is Barry's a doozy? It is. Um, oops. I suppose it's worth asking since I've been on it for a while. Is my... Is my interpretation that I have to bounce off of Shira's head to get to it? Is that a correct understanding? Oops, I fucked that up. That is correct? Thought so. Oh, that was kind of nifty. I fucked that up. That's why it's a doozy, yeah. Timing. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by, y'all. I think you brought the luck. up. That's okay. We got the we got the strawberries. Now we just need to get all the locks and get through this section again. So that's number one. We got number two last time. So we just need to find number three. And then I don't know if we'll have time tonight to drop back to section two and, and try and figure out that strawberry and the the heart. Maybe. It depends how quickly we get through the rest of this. Uh, for what you've seen preemptively dashing. I think I was too. Wait until you've got the bounce first. Mm -hmm. I think that's definitely was part of it. Me alone. Uh, now I, I want to go for this upper one first, right? That kind of. through this section. Perfect. It's actually top three levels of this game. This is a good level. It's quite quite well done. Did he show up in here? Every yeah, he shows up everywhere, right? Oh, fuck that up. Used to hate it. I was not a big fan my first run through, but I also was playing like at the very end of the night, and I was getting kind of frustrated. Oh, god damn it. I forget that I can't stand on those things sometimes. Oh, he didn't start to his dash soon. I thought I had locked him into, space, into place, but... Oh, I didn't get my dash back. Silly me. Uh, now I got the second strawberry here, so I wasn't looking for secrets my first time around, so that means the second strawberry is probably pretty readily visible. Oh, I dashed down there instead of uh, lateral. 
lateral and sideways. I guess it's the same thing. Oh yeah, this section. I just want to like fucking do this to get across here. Yeah, didn't see a strawberry there. Uh, been learning to be a deathless. Oh, nice. You've got all the pieces of the puzzle. Just need to put them together. My personal best is the second last of Shiro Chase room. Oh, so this is your personal best room? Nice. It's fantastic. I, have I still not seen the second strawberry yet? That snow pile trick. That snow pile tripped me out. I thought I could land on that. It's okay. Oh, I dashed back up into it. I could have stalled it a little better. Oh! You panicked and didn't do your strat? Happens all the time to me. There we go. Uh, oh! Fuck, I wasn't ready for you to spawn. I was just trying to get a little more room to see what was going on. Can I stand on these? I still haven't seen a strawberry. Oh, there it is. Okay, so I got that one. So that's strawberry number two. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> the red goo shows up so well against the snow that when then when I get into the indoor section, I like don't even see it against the brown for a second. And I keep walking directly into it. I gotta remember that that's there. Okay, so there's Goo right there. Beat him in. Oh, I didn't mean to grab that wall. Oh, and then I fall and walk into it. <laughs> that's funny. The unintentional wall grab at the top. Oh, this is awkward. Oh yeah, that's a problem, eh? You have the same issues? Mm-hmm. This game's pretty good about like visual elements being distinctive, but there are the occasional things that I have trouble with. There's the last strawberry. Shoot. Okay, so I got a... Oh, that was way too early. I panicked. And we gotta go all the way back here. This is a long room. It's okay though. Despite it being long, we don't need to take it too quick. My timing is weirdly synced up with that. It's okay. Oh, you came down quick. It's all right. Oh, I should have maybe tried to run into that hole. Or just not. Pushed it so far, yeah. Just wait and get him in here, and then. Woo. 
chapter complete. Bye. Yeah. Uh, proud of you. Thank you. Nice work. I appreciate it. Running a scary new thing so you gotta mute again, but I love you so much. I love you so much. Good luck with your new thing. Okay. So the only thing we missed in the resort... Well, the only two things we missed are in this level. And we found the strawberry, we just couldn't figure out how to get to it. And we also saw the crystal heart. Again, we just couldn't figure out how to get to it. What time is it? I can run around and explore in here a little bit. Got a little bit more time. Hello. You're not chasing us yet. You're not a murderous fiend yet. It's okay. I want to hit. If I wanted to hit and hit you up, you know you kind of made it worse. Oh no, you didn't. It was it was all right. Um, after looking it up, I can confidently say that I don't think I ever would have found the uh, the crystal heart in chapter two on my own. Primarily because I wasn't even conceiving of like the going off screen to reset the dash as a mechanic. Like I, that wasn't even in my head. So I don't I don't think I ever would have figured that one out without looking it up. Okay. So again, this is just me musing. We know we know the strawberry I don't have is down the middle path. We know the crystal heart we can see from the top path, but it has it looks like an entrance coming from below, and the top path goes past and then winds up around. We couldn't find any secrets going down, so I'm assuming we also have to get to the crystal heart from the middle path. My big concern... I guess I can ask a question quickly. Um, what I gathered was that there were multiple spots in the middle path where there were do doors that were just completely blocked by, like, purple blankets. I don't know if this is supposed to represent blankets, but I think they are. But they were blocked by the purple blankets, and purple is also what the middle path removes. And I can't get back into the middle path that I've been able to figure out after clearing it. There's no question there. I guess that was just me reiterating what I'm thinking. Start middle then? We can try it. These are correct statements? Uh, is this? Yeah, this is right. I could go that way. I could also... Did I figure out... Yeah, I checked up here last time, right? What did I find? Oh yeah, this is... So yeah, this is blocked by the purple blankets. So this is one of them. This is actually probably how you get up to the, the Crystal Heart. Now that I think about it. Maybe not, but probably... Because it was pretty early on in the top path. But I gotta remove the purple blankets. Does the level never block you off in this section? Can I clear the blankets and then just backtrack? I guess I didn't try that. Let's go investigate and see what we can figure out. Oops, that was not the right timing. How, when did I go last time on that? Last time I just sort of zipped through this section, and I think I just got lucky.
Wait, I don't need to keep bouncing off this guy. I can just stand on here while I think about this. Okay, so I just need to wait for them to sync up, which they do like every other one. Right there. Yeah, okay, that's not that bad. Oh yeah, and there's our... Oh, fuck. I didn't mean to dash. There's our strawberry. Oh, and I figured... This was the other thing. And again, don't necessarily tell me, but... I don't think I can get to that strawberry from in this room. I'm pretty confident I can't. I just think about that strawberry. Well, it was one of the flying ones, so I, I can't dash. Unless I'm, like, right beside it. Like, I, I can only dash if I'm the dash is going to take me into it. Otherwise, it'll disappear. But, like, I can't dash through that red stuff. happens when you dash though oh can you get it while it's flying I never even considered that if you were in the path above it when it flew away be down here anymore then. <laughs> so I gotta figure out the timing to dash and then like be above it and grab that wall and then wall jump off of it to land down below and collect the strawberry probably. Kind of like that. Oh yeah, I guess I I could wall jump back through it. I don't need... Okay, so I can just dash to that wall and then wall jump back. I don't need to catch the strawberry on the way in, necessarily. Oh, I never even considered the idea of... of getting it while it's flying away. Oh, but it will go past me, so I do need to jump back through at the right timing. Okay. I wasn't sure if that wall was far enough away that it was going to be... Oh, that wasn't... I grabbed it the first time, I just wasn't able to... get out and collect it. It's tricky. Slate. No, that was early, rather. I know my earliest from my late. Sometimes. Sometimes I actually don't. Sometimes I know I'm notching it at the right timing and I don't even know that was early again. But I don't know which one it is. I don't have a very good sense of precise timing. Uh, also, Blue Heart is whack. Need help where to go. I'm on the right track. Gotta go back to back meetings today. Oh gosh. This has been your only short break for the day. Oh, well, thank you for coming in and, and spending some of your short break with me. I appreciate that. Uh, good luck, Baron Hart. Thank you so much. Uh, I appreciate you stopping by, all. It's good to see you. Uh, I hope your meetings go well. Or as well as meetings can go. trust that if I get the time right it'll just grab it and then continue with my wall jump and not like
There we go. Okay, that's every strawberry in the level. Now we just need to figure out the... Uh... So there's another passage. It's fully blocked off by purple. So we have to be able to get back to these rooms somehow. And that's a, a room that's fully blocked off by purple. this thing. Oh no, but then it seals off. Aha! Okay, made it through this water thing. Now we're in here. It's dope. Which brings us back out here. Oh, that's tough to get through though. though. Oh, but I can dash. Then we gotta work our way back through here, which is okay. Let's go somewhere? No. It's okay. Well, actually, I, I know where I'm supposed to go. Or I think I know where I'm supposed to go. Yeah, now we come in here. Dope. Okay, that's level three fully complete. Oh, we get another secret here. And that brings us back out here. I thought there might have been something up in this alcove. I tried to test it last time, but it's only a one-way passage. And we come back out. And as soon as we step out, it locks off again. Gotcha. Okay. So now we're, we're done. In chapter three. That's dope. I was hoping to do more than just Chapter 3 tonight, but I also wasn't banking on playing like an hour and 20 minutes of uh, the Pico 8 Celeste minigame. Uh, Twenty-five out of 25, where's that put us? Those three, all good now. Now this next one, we don't have the B side either. And we're missing 12. 12 in Golden Ridge. Are these times my original... No, they're not. These are my total times that I've spent in the levels. Because Forsaken City originally I beat in like 20 minutes. So this is the time to full clear it. I spent like an extra, hour, an extra like almost an hour wander ground getting everything. So now we spent six hours in the Celestial Resort. Which is quite a lot. Dope. Yeah, because our, our original clear of Celestial Resort was 314. 
So we spent another two hours and 40 some minutes. Dope, dope, dope. Uh, but that said, I think that's a good... A nicely capping off, finishing Chapter 3, I think is a good place to, to call things for the evening. Um, as I mentioned, I... Normally tomorrow will be Darkest Dungeon, Darkest Dungeon Mondays. Uh, I will not be doing it this week. Um, well, I'll still be doing Darkest Dungeon, it'll just be Wednesday. Uh, because I am a big hockey fan, and the playoffs are right now, and my team, the Toronto Maple Leafs, are playing Game 7 tomorrow night, so I'm going to want to be watching that, and probably be in despair, because they were up 3-1 in the series, and now they had to go to Game, game 7. And I'm pretty nervous about it. <laughs> But that's neither here nor there. Um, so we'll be back Wednesday with Darkest Dungeon. Let's see where we can all go and hang out. Uh... Oh. This is the tab I had Picto's stream open on. I was like, why do I have another tab open in my own stream again? Because I have I have my normal one that I with my like, creator dashboard that I use to check things and make sure things are running well. But I was like, why do I have a second tab of my own stream open? But it's because I was in a space that raided me. Uh Let us see here. Um, do we want... Let me see if people are still streaming for a bit or if they're ending. Dope, okay. Let's go hang out with uh, Miley, Miley's twerk team, playing some Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver. Looks like gonna be taking on the Elite Four today. Which is I mean that's the most exciting part of any Pokemon game, taking on the Elite Four. Um it's my thing raid call? We'll just use the regular raid call today. Except, uh, so there's there's that version with hearts there. I'll I'll make another version here with uh, emotes. Whichever version you want to use, or you can substitute in. Oh. I didn't delete the heart. <laughs> I just... Okay, wait one sec. I'm getting it figured out. Don't you worry. Okay. So whichever version you want to use. Uh, emotes, hearts, your own emotes. Whatever the case may be. Let's go say hello. Uh, but this has been this has been good. We're making good progress with 
collecting stuff in Celeste and and getting all the collectibles and stuff. It's going well. I'm having a great time with it. I'm really glad I uh, tried out this game. Well, it's actually thanks to many of you because I ran originally a poll on a few different games and Celeste won. And I'm having a great time with it. Uh, I'm a little, a little sad it took me this long to give it a try. But actually, but if I tried it sooner, I wouldn't have streamed it. So I guess it all worked out nicely. Thanks for the stream. Great time as always. Oh, thank you, Shoddy. I appreciate that. Thank you for being here and hanging out. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, right. Uh, so as I mentioned, no stream tomorrow night. I'll probably tweet just to remind people tomorrow. But uh, next stream is Wednesday, Darkest Dungeon. Uh, I love you all. Please, please, please take good care of yourselves. Uh... If you're in a time zone where it's almost nighttime, I hope you get some good sleep. If you're in a time zone where it's not, I hope you have a great rest of your day and then get some good sleep. Uh, and I hope to see you again next time. Thanks for the stream. Oh, thank you for being here. You're most welcome, Phantom. Okay. Take care. Good night. There's my ending screen. There it is. Goodbye.